Hey guys, it's Hetty, and welcome back to part 27 of the Fan Art Feb series. And today's video, I'm doing Harry Potter. Um, I actually drew this one right at the start, and I just never got around to colouring it. So, yeah, this one's been kind of drawn out for a while. And it was the first time I tried drawing a male character in my drawing style. And I kind of like how it turned out, but kind of not. And he's sort of... he looks very feminine to me. But... I think that's just because I'm not used to drawing men anyway, so I went with the safe option and just went with doing his face, but I don't know. I like it still for being a stylized piece. But, ah well, it works. I'm just doing um, using my markers to colour it and my pencil crayons at the end as well to give it a bit more definition, so there's not really much to explain about my technique for this. It was more laying down base colours and then just building up the layers of marker and pencil crayon. Um, one thing I will say though is when I was colouring his jacket I've thrown away like five or six markers because I finally got around to throwing away all the blues that don't work. So that was fun trying out loads of different ones. But I thought I'd talk today about how my convention went yesterday. Um, it was the first one of these conventions in my town and it was MCON because they normally do it in Birmingham and I think they do it in Derby as well someone's told me but I'm not sure as far as I know they do it in not Birmingham sorry Nottingham um so I wasn't expecting it to be like amazing or to make a lot of money uh, I at least made the money back to cover the cost of the table so that was the one big thing but I thought I'd just talk about some things that I learnt and some mistakes that I've made that I'm going to learn from for next time Um, just if any of you guys are thinking of going into conventions then maybe this can help you as well but one thing the biggest thing I found was planning is your new best friend um, you need to plan everything like don't leave getting prints until the last minute otherwise it's gonna be one big bulk cost like plan and do it over if you because you'll get the table a couple in, of months in advance at least you can start buying bits straight away or even if you don't have a table booked anywhere yet you could start getting some and stocking up ready if you know you plan on doing some at some point so yeah the earlier you start getting ready the better and then obviously it's not going to be a big upfront cost and um, luckily I printed most stuff myself because I've got an A3 printer but that's not unless you know how to do it properly it's not something I'd recommend I'd definitely recommend getting it done professionally, which if you wonder what sites or anything that you could use, then let me know and I'll, I can leave some links to those uh, ones that I would use or there is some I have used before, I just didn't have the money to do it this time. But um, Another big thing is invest in adequate displays, which that's something I didn't do um, because I was unsure how I wanted to display everything. and. I kind of regret not getting a decent display and I left that till the last minute which is a big thing I also regretted doing but I'll try and find some links to things you could use Um there was some of my friends that I did it with they got these clear plastic acrylic like um, holders and they work really well and they look really professional so that works but a lot of people that were there I mean if you've seen Bailey's uh, convention setup she's got like the crate thing in the background that you can pin stuff on so you could go down that route but for your first few I wouldn't recommend that um, another thing some people had was a little wire rack which I'm not sure what it's actually called but you use it to put postcards and stuff in like that um, so yeah getting spending in a little bit more money to get decent display equipment is a lot better than trying to make shift your own so that's a big tip um have an inventory list so as soon as you've got all your stuff make a list like a little chart saying everything you've got how many of them if you want but mainly like how what you've got and do a little box next to each one where you can tally up what you sell and that way you see what you sell the most of and i'll get on to best things that the me and my friends found sold there in a minute but another thing is set fair prices don't go too expensive but you do need to make sure you cover the cost of 
printing and everything like that and if you have to travel to the convention cover that cost as well but obviously you spread out over there all of it then it's not going to build up that much but don't set your prices too cheap either i had a little sale box of just miscellaneous prints that i don't really do anymore and i sold a few of those but because i only i had like th it was three a6 prints for a pound obviously a few people did that but then you don't really make much profit off that so don't set stuff too cheap um but yeah as for the artwork that i'd recommend you do um see this is where it's a bit different for different people it depends on your work because um my friend charlie who i was sharing a table with she only took original artwork um and stuff that connected to her book because she's wrote a book so she's got like all the character designs and stuff like that and logos so she took any of that stuff and she did pretty well she sold a fair amount of stuff whereas my other friend Helen she only took fan art but believe me she does amazing fan art so she did she managed to sell quite a lot of stuff and I mean I'll leave a link to her Facebook page down below but her the quality of her fan art is amazing and to be honest this is I'm basing a lot of these tips off what she did because she was the most successful for a convention to be honest um having don't have too many pieces of different artwork that's a big thing I'd recommend try and have things that match a consistent style like Helen's work a lot of it even though it's all fan art she did a Walking Dead range and the colours all matched very similar like it was the same style in the backgrounds that sort of thing the more things you have that look uniform and as part of a collection and obviously all done by the same artist then the more professional your table will look and you're more likely to draw in customers that's probably another massive tip um so i wouldn't recommend doing all just fan art because that's something people get bored of eventually but you definitely need to make sure your work has a consistent style so if someone sees it um, and you say like, if someone's bought one of your prints and they're going around someone asks oh where did you get that from people will just go and look for either that piece or say if you run out of that one they'll look for something very similar so they'll know who it is which also if you have a consistent style that helps build a following online as well because people recognize your work but um yeah i guess another tip is when you're pricing your work people like to get a good deal so like i had stickers for sale i did those three for a pound and they sold quite well so the more deals you have the better like um i had a6 prints as well that were two pound each or three for five pound which that's not too cheap and people are willing to pay that price if they like your work they're more likely to buy like three for five pound instead of just that one off um but yeah i suppose that's all the tips i have i'm definitely because we've booked a table for the same convention next year and hopefully it's going to be a little bit more popular next year because it's not going to be the first one i think i'm definitely going to look into getting stuff printed professionally this time instead and not leave it all short notice i know now i've definitely got a table next year so i'm gonna start getting bits and bobs every time i've got a bit of spare money um but yeah i think that's uh, the main things i guess are pre-planning just make sure you give yourself enough time and if you can save up money for it but um inventory list so you know what sells best um and a small selection of consistent style of artwork is better than a large range of different pieces that don't look all uniform some of the best things that do sell were small things like stickers they're a big thing that sells badges or buttons wherever you're from and bookmarks they tend to be well they for us they were the biggest sellers so yeah we're coming up to the end of the video now i will leave some links in the description below to where i recommend you get some stuff printed like business cards which are very important everyone needs business cards as an artist 
and I'll leave a link to where I get mine from and they are super good quality so I definitely recommend them and there's loads of different options for them so yeah and I have some links that some other people have sent me for different merchandise like getting badges or buttons made and stuff like that and I'll link those below as well but I hope you like the artwork for today and I can't believe tomorrow is the last day it's gone by so quickly so yeah thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow for the last fan art fab day bye